a desolate corner of the scorched earth. Here the sun cruelly rules and burns all living things. There is no water, no shade. Only the sweltering heat during the day and the searing cold at night. All this makes these places the most violent on earth. Few people will be able to survive here. This is a land where existence is a constant struggle. A land where anyone can die instantly. On this desolate battlefield, life for one means the end of everything for the other. In the edge of the sands, where life is constantly at the limit, there lives an animal that has perfectly adapted to the desert hardships. This desert dweller is a kid you may never have heard of. A dune cat. A true master of survival in the hot, dead sands. The dune cat got its name thanks to the endless dunes of the Sahara Desert, where in the middle of the 19th century, these small wild cats first caught the eye of Frenchman Jean Marguerite, who carried out an expedition to these hot regions. Dune, sand, or desert cat, these are the names this animal has received, and it lives in the deserts of North Africa, the Arabian Peninsula, and Central Asia. The dune cat remains a mystery to modern man, despite the fact that this species was discovered more than a hundred years ago. Many do not even know about the existence of this wild cat, the size of a domestic one. This animal is quite secretive, preferring a nocturnal lifestyle. But with the development of GPS trackers and a satellite surveillance system, scientists can study dune cats without catching them and without disturbing them to live peacefully away from people. Each animal has its own place in the ecosystem. Nature has endowed the dune cat with everything for a comfortable life in a hellish climate. These beige beauties are the only cats that live mainly in deserts and are simply created to survive into the hardest of environments. Their disposition is peaceful compared to other wild cats, which are quite ferocious. A cute muzzle with splayed ears, fluffy sideburns on the head, a thick sandy-colored fur coat, outwardly they look like cute domestic cats. However, these cats are real ruthless predators unusual inhabitants of hot and arid territories. They are not inferior to anyone they can handle. First of all, the tiny size of the predator attracts attention. By its size, the dune cat is one of the smallest in the entire feline family, and in size it is much inferior to other close species, including the domestic cat. Its height at the withers is only 25 to 30 centimeters, and the length of the body together with the tail does not exceed 90 centimeters. The largest male dune cat weighs up to 3.5 kilograms, and females are much lighter. The predator's head is large and wide. It seems even wider because of the thick sideburns, which smoothly turn into big, fluffy ears. The peculiarity of the shape of the head is a certain flatness. The ears of the sand cat are large, widely spaced, and pubescent inside with thick white fur which protects them from wind-blown sand. It may seem that the animal's ears are larger than its head, and the head itself is a little disproportionate for such a small, elegant body. Thanks to the unusual structure of the muzzle, such cats look cute and somewhat funny. The paws of the dune cat are short but powerful. A predator can stun its prey with one blow of its paw. Large and strong claws allow it to quickly dig out a burrow or small rodents living in burrows. The soles of the paws of dune cats are protected by a thick layer of thick and tough fur layer. These mittens protect the delicate pads of the paws from the hot sand, allow the cat not to leave traces behind, and also create a support so that the cat does not get bogged down amongst the quicksand. Dune cats meow, growl, hiss, scream, purr, and reproduce a number of other sounds, in many ways similar to the sound of a domestic cat. The sharp hearing of dune cats helps them to detect prey that hides even underground. 
Very modest sizes allow cats to fit in small burrows, which the cat easily pulls out with its strong paws. The desert is not only the merciless sun during the day, but also extremely low temperatures at night. Therefore, the desert cat has thick and soft fur, which retains body heat on cold nights and does not allow the animal to freeze, and also does not let heat through during the day so that the animal is not very hot. The color is most often light sandy in color with red shades and barely noticeable small stripes or spots. This appearance is due, of course, to the sandy habitat making individuals of this breed almost invisible among sandy deserts and rocky valleys. This kitty cat leads a secretive, solitary, and nocturnal lifestyle. That's why naturalist photographers look out for animals at night. During the day, cats usually sit in burrows or caves and become active closer to night. A dune cat living in the heart of an arid desert goes hunting under the cover of night. Before leaving its lair, the sand cat takes a peculiar pose in its shelter, waiting for 15 minutes and carefully examining the surrounding environment. It looks around carefully and listens. Then, crouching to the ground and moving along the sand almost crawling, silently bypasses his possessions in search of prey. Short distances, despite the slightly strange way of movement, the dune animal overcomes at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour. However, the sneaky manner of movement does not prevent the cat from traveling huge distances in search of prey, up to 10 kilometers. Examining an area of up to eight square kilometers per night, it just in one go. This animal wanders quietly and cautiously. Its gait is soft and its steps are almost soundless. This desert cat is cautious. If you approach it, it freezes and closes its eyes so that the glare from its eyes does not give it away. Another unusual feature of sand cats is the ability to freeze, and so skillfully that they can be touched, moved, and they won't even move. It is quite difficult to find food in the desert, and therefore these cats are not picky in their food and eat everything they can find and master. The basis of the diet is small gerboa, but a significant part of their diet consists of gerbil mice, lizards, small hares, insects, small birds, their chicks, and their eggs. The prey is extracted with great difficulty, so the cat, in case of successful haunting, tries to eat for the future. She can eat up to 10% of her body weight at one time. The basic hunting techniques for the sand cat are based on hunting from hiding. The sharp hearing of dune cats helps them to detect prey that hides even underground. Most often, jumping out in an ambush, the cat grabs the victim by the neck, shaking it violently at the same time. Then, tearing the victim with its teeth and claws, it consumes its pieces of food. Interestingly enough, a sand cat can go without water for several weeks, quenching thirst solely through food. An extremely efficient urinary system provides them with the ability to concentrate to liquid secretions, eliminating water loss from frequent urination, allowing them to apparently survive for long periods without drinking. And in the places where there are water sources, the cat regularly goes to drink, sometimes even going up to 10 kilometers away. Sometimes the predator catches its prey far from the burrow, but unlike other cats, it will not drag its victim into the hole. If you drag it along the sand, then traces will remain. When the cat manages to catch more than it can eat, it buries its prey in the sand in order to return to it later and finish it off. The ability to hunt snakes refers to the special talents of these animals. Predators attack horned sand vipers, which are highly poisonous representatives of the local fauna. Dune cats easily stun a snake with precise and quick blows to the head, and then kill it with a bite in the neck. The beast returns to its lair only in the morning and performs exactly the same ritual at the entrance to the burrow as at the exit in order to avoid encounters with predators. 
Disguise is a necessity, without which this beast could not survive in the desert, in the vastness of which it is hardly possible to hide. Natural camouflage allows our sand cat to hide even from the keen eye of a bird of prey. The ability of the sand cat to move quickly and almost silently, without leaving any traces on the sand, makes hunting him extremely difficult. That's why this beast remains largely inaccessible to researchers. To follow the trail of the sand cat is an almost impossible task. The most interesting thing is that dune cats, even as adults, always remain similar to kittens. While well, big-eared little kittens are just the height of charm. Males and females of this species live separately, but their home territories overlap. During the mating season, dune cats search for a mate in the desert with the help of loud cries that resemble a dog barking rather than a cat meowing. These sounds should alert and attract a partner. Sensitive hearing helps the female to hear this call even at great distances. Usually, there can be kilometers of unoccupied desert between the habitats of cats, but if they're lucky, the couple will meet and be able to start a family. These days-long concerts take place from February to mid-May, and the pregnancy lasts from 60 to 65 days. There are usually three to five kittens per litter, which the female gives birth to in a spacious burrow. Newborns weigh about 40 to 55 grams and gain about 12 grams of weight every day. At the age of two weeks, babies open up their eyes, and after another week, they're already starting to run. At five weeks, they switch to solid food. In the third month of their life, kittens go hunting with their mother. The female lives with her offspring for up to six to eight months, teaching them all just how to hunt like her. After having mastered the necessary hunting skills, the young cats go in search of their own lands and begin an independent life. At the age of 9 to 13 months, they reach puberty. Since they know how to hide from enemies and always find food, these kings of the desert, as nomads call them, are quite comfortable in some of the most unbearable conditions on the planet. The dune cat is a unique species of mammals that are not recommended to keep at home. The animal leads a rather secretive lifestyle, and its domestication is unlikely to give the owners the joy of such a pet. Its presence in your life would cause a lot of inconvenience, because in captivity such cats are susceptible to viral diseases, and whatever vaccinations could be and should be done to this animal are unknown. Important information, such a cat is impossible to find in a simple kennel. A wild animal like a dune cat rarely breeds in captivity. It must be said that in some countries, this animal is almost on the verge of complete extinction. It is truly a pity that the excessive greed of people leads to such sad consequences.